96, there are many ways to reach out to someone with cancer, but few people do it with such generosity as a San Diego woman. Our tenure's anchor Kimberly Hunt brings us her story stitched in time and woven into young hearts, teaching them what's in a quilt. I've used those to make my curves. This is the back room of Rosie's Calico Cupboard in San Diego. Every week for the past 20 years. Should be interesting. <laughs> Rosie Gonzalez, who owns the fabric store, brings these volunteers together to make quilts. Not just any quilts, but gifts for children affected by cancer at the Shawnee Foundation's Camp Reach for the Sky. It's a family camp. COO Robbie Medina says the quilts are now a symbol of the camp. Oftentimes parents come back and they, they've lost their child or what have you, and they, they come back and tell us that their quilts still smell like their kids. So it's kind of a, a connection to keep them going. Rosie donates all of the backing and the batting for what is now 450 quilts a year. And she's about to get a surprise from 10 News. <laughs> Rosie jokes about being a drill sergeant, but the ladies say she's the glue that keeps this effort going. Rosie Gonzalez, on behalf of Lead San Diego and 10 News, we present you with the 10 News Leadership Award. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Every year, no matter how many years children attend camp, they always get a new quilt. You know, I'm 75. I'm going to be 76. And that's one of the reasons I haven't closed my shop, because if I did, I wouldn't be able to do this anymore. That's what a quilt means here. But when a stranger makes a quilt, it's a whole different story, because that means there's people out there who care. I hope I can continue this for years and years to come. Rosie says when she receives donations of fabric or sewing machines, nothing goes to waste. They either use it or they give it to someone who can. 